Good morning everyone. Uh, this is Rashvin, the Asian mechanic guy. And for today guys, uh, we are going to make a simple diagram for this uh, engine uh, coolant uh, temperature sensor. So guys, uh, there were like uh, two uh, kinds of uh, ACT sensor. This is, this is a, a normally closed one and also we got also what we call the normally open. And for today guys, uh, I'll be sh showing you uh, how this normally closed uh, engine coolant uh, temperature uh, works. Uh, by the way guys, uh, this uh, sensor what makes your uh, radiator fan uh, works. So for our viewers guys, this is submerged into a coolant. Uh, mostly it's located to uh, uh, our engine block or sometimes also it's located in our uh, radi uh, on our radiator. So guys, uh, let's uh, make a diagram for this and hopefully we could, you know, understand how this uh, sensor uh, works in our uh, radiator fan. So again guys, this is our engine coolant temperature sensor or ACT and this is normally close okay guys so this is normally close so what the meaning of normally close but anyway uh, I'm gonna show you show you a diagram for better understanding so let's say guys this is your sensor so again guys this is submerged into a coolant into a water somewhere in your engine block so there were like two connection of it one is connected to your body ground then one is connected into a relay so we are using pipe pin relay and this is how inside of relay look like so there is like a, a coil and in a relay there is like a number so this is your number 85 number 86 this is your 30 this is your 87a and then this is your 87 so this kind of uh relay this is what we call normally close so number 30 is always connected into 87a when uh it's when the engine is off and guys this sensor is connected into number 87 i mean 85 to the coil so if we say by the way guys if we say normally close there is an always continuity in here so if we say this is negative this should be also negative so again guys this is negative when uh, your engine is off when this is still cold because again guys this is submerged into your coolant somewhere in your radiator or somewhere in your engine block and guys number 87 is connected into your ignition switch but before it will go to your ignition switch there is a fuse so this is like a 30 ampere and then also this number 30 it's connected also in here after the fuse and we are going to make a ignition switch so let's say this is your ignition switch so let's say this is your battery accessory it's your on position and then start position and let's say this is your key so imagine this is your key so guys when you start the car so this is connected to your start okay and by the way, we will we will going to draw also your radiator fan. So let's say this is your radiator fan. That's your fan. 
So there's also two connections on your radiator fan. So this will go again into your body ground. And then this one will be connected on number 87. So guys, when when uh, your engine is off, when your engine is not running, number 30 is normally connected to number 87. So meaning there is a power going to your radiator. But of course, your radiator will not gonna run because the, in the your, your engine is off. I, I hope you get my point. And then as soon as you start your car, so a power or a positive positive feed will go in here and then this will energize because it, it has a negative already right so this one is it has a continuity because this is normally close sensor so this one will energize and then it pushes this connection to number 87 so there's already an open loop so Supposedly this is positive, 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 positive going there. But then because the coil energizes, so it pushes this connection. Now there's no more positive going to your radiator. So your radiator is not going to work until your sensor at 90 degrees Celsius. The connection in here around 90 or more than 90 degrees Celsius the connection in here will disconnect so as soon as it will disconnect the connection from 30 to 87 it will go back in here so there will be a direct positive going to your radiator and then your radiator will run or it will work so guys that's how you know your normally close uh, temperature sensor works and how what is the role of this on your radiator fan so this is very important guys in order this uh, radiator fan to work and again I'm gonna show it to you guys again so when you start the car so it gives a positive feed in here in here so this is normally closed so there's a connection of negative going here so this one energized it pushes this connection to number 87 which is number 87 is an open loop so it will just stay in 87 inside this relay so there's no even though there is a positive in here still not connected to number 87 because it push the connection is push is was pushed back or push into number 87 this is number 87a so there's no power going to a radiator so radiator is not gonna work until at 90 degrees celsius or more than 90 degrees celsius this will be disconnected because there's a circuit in here so if this is disconnected so your coil, coil is not gonna work so it will go back to number 87 so there's a, like a direct positive feed going to your radiator and your radiator fan will gonna work that's how you know this normally close uh, sensors gonna work but anyway guys we will uh, sh I'm going to show it to you in a car we will apply it to in a car so let's go to my Nissan Versa so as you can see guys let's start the car so key on the ignition switch let's start the car So guys, as you can see, radiator is not radiator fan is not working. Okay. I hope you can see it. So that's the radiator fan is not working. So what we are going to do, guys, is to disconnect this. Because right now. Right now guys, what's happening is when we start the car, we engage this coil. So the connection is, the connection of this is already in number 87. That's why our, our radiator fan is not working. 
So again guys, we start the car. So it gives a positive feed. Our sensor is normally closed, so it gives a negative feed. So it pushes this connection to number 87. So there is an open loop. So your radiator fan has no positive because this one is already an open. So now what we are going to do is to disconnect this wire, this two wire. So disengage this, so this wire, this, this uh, connection from 87 will go back to number 87A. So it will give a positive feed to our radiator. So that's what we are going right now guys. So that's our temperature sensor right there. This one. So I will just gonna disconnect this and let's see a little bit tight there you go I disconnected already so let's wait for the can you see that the radiator is working now so then guys what happened is that when we disconnect this two wire this one disengage and this uh, connection from 87 Went, go, went back to number 87A so there's like a positive feed going directly to the to your fan so your fan uh, motor is working that's uh, how this uh, normally close uh, sensor works so guys let's put back the sensor so I did put back the sensor and let's wait for a few seconds See? The fan shut off. See that, guys? Because what happened, guys, is that there's already uh, like a connection again in here, a, a negative connection. So this coil energized, and this uh, connection from 30 to 87 it pushes to number 87. So there is already an open loop. So your radiator is not gonna work. So guys, that's uh, how uh, your uh, engine coolant uh, temperature sensor works for a normally close one. So hopefully guys, uh, you've learned something for this uh, simple diagram. And if you have any question, uh, please comment below. And consider like uh, and subscribe my channel. That's all for today guys. Uh, see you in my next video. Bye-bye.